going to program updates. <clears throat> I'm going to be fairly quick. But, um, flag football, cheerleading, we're in the heart of it. Get to that. <laughs> um, we, we take this week off with for, for fall break. Um, I think we've got several games to make up. We've, we've had some wet, wetter weather than we usually have. Um, but uh, as it stands right now, our scheduled regular season ends next week with our tournament starting the following week. Um, we've got our championship game scheduled back out of Cherokee like we've had the past couple of years. Uh, right now, that's scheduled for Thursday, October 24th. Um, and that's when we'll do our punt, pass, and kick event as well. Um, that could be potentially pushed to the following week. Um, fall's just busy with other things, and it's hard to schedule. Um, we love our high school and college football around here, so Friday nights are tough, Wednesday nights are tough, Saturdays are tough, so you basically only have three days to play these games. So um, Since we last met, uh, we had our Touch a Truck event. That was great. Um, I know you some of you all out? come. Um, yeah, I had a, had a I think a really good turnout. We had about 40, v, 40 different cross vehicles. Country, cross country takes up our Saturdays. Man. Um, I love it, buddy. It was, the way it was, where it was set up, it was hard to get a good number uh -huh. on who was coming. Cause they could come from everywhere. And, but there was a steady flow of people, kids, you know, out there. We got some great pictures. Um, the buggy was definitely his. Yeah, it was. Yeah. We had no idea. I thought they was just going to park it and let them, you know, touch it. Yeah. He was like, oh, we normally give rides. Right. Yeah. So they, they, they were climbing they 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 in and driving around the parking lot. Um, it was awesome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the helicopter came in, <laughs> um, landed it. Must have had a call or something because it didn't stay but about 30, 45 minutes. But, um, Make it, you know, he's able to climb in it, sit around, you know. Really cool event. I think it's something that we need to <coughs> kind of start doing once a year. Just, I don't know. Uh, I, and I, I think the people that brought vehicles really enjoy it to show their stuff off and get mm -hmm. kids excited about fire and rescue and mm -hmm. all, all the other cool construction vehicles so um, really really great event um, uh, youth athletic training we've had three well two two weekends two Saturdays we've done it um, two weeks ago we had to cancel for the cleanup and hurricane and rain um, we've had about 10 to 12 kids each uh, I took my daughter this past Saturday just sat there and watched it and it's Neil does a great job it, mm -hmm. it's exactly Easy. what I envisioned it you know as far as and, and the kids that are coming is who I envisioned we wanted to target um, it's just the kids that want to get better mm -hmm. um, and, and the way he's the drills he's running teaching them how to balance their bodies, you know, it's it's, it's really impressive, and he, Neil's Neil's been great. Um, we finished our his moving you fitness class. Um, the last Monday of September was our last class. We're going to take the month of October off um, so we can plan another fitness geared more for adults. Um, but our plan is to start a new fitness class uh, first of November um, my other thought is if you have a program that's just does not have an end date it just people get burned out people get burned out and you, you know when you have a hard day that you stop when you stop people start wanting, want, it, back. wanting it back yes and, and you're able to kind of repackage it make it a little fresh and, and hopefully get new people involved. Mm -hmm. um, I also feel like some people 
see a program that's been going for weeks or months, they're hesitant to join. It's already going. It's already yeah. established. Yeah. And you know, we're going to try something new, and I want to join that. And it's easier for new people to join at the front end of a class than it is after it's been going. On. So, so expect a new fitness class to start next month. Um, uh, we've got a movie in the park. Saturday, October 26th. Um, we put the flyer out today. We're going to show the original Ghostbusters. Uh, I think that'll be a, a popular movie that I think the adults will want to bring their kids to. Um, I think it's going to be kind of like what Goonies was for the you know, parents. It's like, you need to come watch this movie. Um, and drop their kids out. We've got some uh, games planned, just some little activities, a costume contest, we'll do and have some prizes. Um, and it's that's a I forget who the sponsor is. Precision. Precision. Yes. Precision claim. Yes. So much appreciative for them to to sponsor this event. Um, and then uh, we started basketball <coughs> registrations, uh, which is wild, but um, they're, they're coming in. Uh, uh, deadline to register for basketball is November 1st. So I'll put that out there. Um, I spoke last month about a tree program we, we're starting. We, I met with the tree board. They get um, a couple hundred seedlings each year from the forestry department and usually they give those out to the kids <clears throat> they're still going to give uh, half of those out to the schools to the kids but we're going to keep half of them um, and try to raise them we're also uh, and those have been ordered um, and we're also looking at ordering a few more other varieties too so, so that's kind of as far as Grant updates. Um, that's kind of pretty much where we were at as far as what we're getting ready to start tackling is um, preparing for winter. Um, <coughs> at our the VMA meeting, and I just um, we're asking them to uh, go ahead and um, I guess I don't know if you all have to do anything formal or not, but. Um, for our playground equipment, we want to tackle it this winter too. Um, and so we're asking that you all approve us. To, and I, I wrote bid down here, but it's actually a request for proposals. Um, playground equipment is not the same. It's, 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 you can't compare apples to apples between playground manufacturers. So we ask for proposals. Um, so you can still get a competitive, and we'll call it a bid, but it's more of a proposal um, because what one company, one feature one company has, another company may not even be able to match. They, they don't offer that, so they've got to have something comparable so you write the specs <coughs> to say we need some type of spinner or a climber or something like that so um, but our hope is to sometime in the next week put out for proposals um, and then take receive those several days before the November meeting so we can open them um, and then present what we would like to which one we'd like to go with at next month's meeting um, Try to have this purchased by the end of the calendar year to be installed in January, February, hopefully. That way, come springtime, we will have a new, new playground in the park. Um, other than that, that's about all I've got. Uh, for me.
permission to application for no, permission to bid playground equipment. Okay, that that uh, I think Matthew's back there somewhere, aren't you, Matthew? I am. Um, we're working with that LPR LPRF grant and working with First Tennessee Development District on this, but. We need to send out requests for proposals instead of bids. It's just the wording on it. But that's what we're asking them to go ahead and send out requests for proposals for the playground equipment. And uh, we just need y'all's approval to do it. I'll make a motion. I just, I'll have a second. I'll second. Moved and second. Who's second? I did. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Disapproved? No. Sir. 